This is Tiger, and it makes a great entrance because when you walk out the door, boom, it's a strong painting. Um, actually, that was my nickname when I was a kid. But um, it's simple and strong. It's got bands going this way, and it's got the drawing, which I'm a lot about. Electric Sunrise, someone said a Jimi Hendrix song. Um, this is really new and um, also has bands, but a little bit more bewildering shapes and movements. This is new, this was 2018 and um, was on a big campus, so you could see the force and it was unstretched and stretched afterwards cropped afterwards. This is Paris Red, and this is the one that they chose for the card. Um, it's pretty much what it is, movement and color. Obviously, this is an extreme 20-foot one, bigger than me, and um, I did it in my bedroom, wrapped around the room. This is called Rebirth, and um, it was written about, and <coughs> the author, no, the uh, critics, what was his name, Dominic Lombardi said, it was like the beginning of Earth. I had named it Rebirth. And um, <coughs> he said it was like fire and water in the very beginning of, of the Earth. So here you are, Rebirth. Sea Garden, which um, has been said, or I have been said, it is kind of like Cubist, and somebody quoted it was like Cezanne. It has the Cubist um, shapes to it, of course, with color. This is Dubstep, obviously the dance, and um, this was done with a lot of speed which you could still see in the painting. Um, this was done on the floor. I work on the floor and I work on the walls. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Parker, uh, interior designer here in New York City, but also a trustee of the Academy Art Museum down in Easton, Maryland. Uh, we're here with Francine Tint today, a, a fabulous uh, abstract impressionist artist whom I've known for many years. I'm happy to say the Academy Art Museum owns two of Francine's paintings, uh, and this latest show of hers is an absolute delight. We're, we're thrilled to see what she's doing now and how she's both staying true to her roots of abstract uh, expressionist painting, but ever reaching to grow and expand and find new uses of color palette. Uh, she's really just an amazing artist, I think you'll see from the show. Light. I call this my Monet as well. I love Monet and uh, Milton Avery. It's, it's got really light, light colors and it sneaks up on you. Loom of darkness and you could feel the speed and the oddity of the color, but I love it. Uh, the background, the purpley color with the red and yellow and black, it makes a good, good combo. And then you've got the beads, a little turquoise on the bottom. Yeah.